Hello everyone, this is Jason Kim from Palmview Marketing Department. Uh, thanks for your attention for Palmview products. And then uh, it is a great honor to us to have uh, this kind of opportunity to introduce the Palmview product. Okay, everybody hear my speaking. If uh, someone problem, please send me a message. Okay, uh, before know the Palm Bay products, uh, we would like to introduce the basic knowledge about the SIP IP intercom. Today is the first stage. Okay. Uh, this PPT have a whole chapter. First is what is communication. Actually, uh, we are using many communication products, but we didn't know what kind of technology in this communication, okay? So we just explained to you that uh, what is in the, the, our communication system. Uh, second is uh, we explained to you roughly the difference between the analog and digital. And so the chapter, we explained to you what we can do with SIP IP intercom. And four is, uh, Question and answer. Okay, um, maybe to some customer already know this the basic knowledge. Some customer didn't know, but uh, we're gonna have a <clears throat> same grade to introduce our product. So we stopped to the, this webinar today. If they have any question, please let us know. Okay. Okay, uh, this is a very big question. What is communication? Actually, we are talk, talk by talk, this is also communication. We are call someone else, this is also communication. Okay, but uh, today we are say uh, the communication is meaning electric things communication, okay? Um, I'm taking care of Palm Bay Marketing Team Director. Uh, this is first my webinar. Yes, I'm being nervous to introduce this webinar. If uh, some small mistake, please apologize me. Ah, no, no, I'm sorry. I do apologize about mistake, okay? Okay, let's start. Um, actually, very simple. We are using mobile phone, but uh, we are also use telephone, okay? In case of traditional telephone, it is analog. And uh, our mobile phone is uh, digital. They are transmit data by analog or digital, but we didn't know what is difference because we cannot see that. So analog signal, actually you send a signal by wave. For example, the, the, you call someone else and then they are changed your voice to electric signal and send to the opposite party. And then the person can hear your voice, okay? And then the, in case of mobile phone, you are talking and then they send the signal, but their signal method a little bit different compared to analog and digital. Okay. Um, the basically analog signal we are sent to the wave by continu continuously. But the digital signal, actually, they are sent by the digital signal by digit. 
the two or one. Okay, and then uh, other difference you can see the our PPT file. The, you can say the in case of digital signal, how they describe by zero or one, actually this is by power voltage. The computer received the plus five volt and they believe this is zero. And then they get the minus five volt is the one. And then they made the combination and the generate the communication system. And then the wave side, in case of the analog signal, sine wave, but digital signal, square wave. If you have a device, you can check the signal. Wave type is a little difference. Okay. In case of analog signal, yes. We are not saying analog signal always bad, but not so convinced. For example, if you want to send a more long distance, you have a more big device or big equipment. Uh, actually, this problem came from the World War II. For example, many of the European the troops, they want to send a signal very long distance. So they build up very big system, but now, we can send a signal very long distance by a small device. This is the advantage. This kind of difference we will uh, explain by next chapter. In case of analog signal, yeah, we are just now say the analog signal need big the equipment. For example, if you speak to someone else, if you want to speak more louder, you should use the, some uh, speaker or you shout very loudly. But in case of digital, you just adjust the volume. That's all. That's a big difference. Um, this kind of explanation actually the later on very useful to understand for the communication. Okay, um, let's go to the next pages. Um, actually, communication, yeah, we are very simple. Communicate by wire or wireless. Wired also have analog and uh, digital. Wireless also we have analog and digital. Um, what kind of analog wired system? Yes, telephone line. Okay. And uh, digital, yes, also telephone. But the signal sending and receiving is different. Actually, SIP IP communication system came from IP telephone part. Okay, IP telephone actually the, we are using the TCP/IP protocol, and among them, the one part is SIP IP communication. Okay, maybe people understand SIP came from IP telephone, and then it is uh, came from digital and also wired. Okay, and wireless part also has analog and digital. Wireless, analog, AM, FM, radio. Okay, um, yes, in case of AM, FM, radio, if you fit frequency, anybody can listen. Of course, the quality has a difference, okay? For example, AM radio. Um, AM radio is a good point, it's a send a signal very long distance. So most of airplane, they are using AM radio frequency, okay? In case of FM, uh, we are using the 
before we are using the FM radio to listen to music or some news. Yeah, FM radio the sends the more wide data, but the signal distance a little bit shorter than AM radio. Okay, so many kind of uh, commercial purpose they are using the AM radio. Okay. Uh, in case of digital, so many wireless system, Wi-Fi or radio frequency 433, A66, Gigabit, G-Wave, a lot. Nowadays, this uh, part is very popular because of the home automation system. Okay, for example, RF 433 in Europe, there are many customer use RF 433 to turn on the light and turn off the light by wires. Uh, actually, the A66 is my mistake. This is A68. Okay, this is a G wave frequency. Um, this one is uh, we can say RF433 is the uh, same kind of concept of AM and FM radio difference. RF433 can send a signal very long distance but no re response. RF433, a uh, very popular part is uh, car remote control. Many of car is a uh, turn off, uh, rock and unlock by remote, MRI. They are using RF433 frequency. And uh, the, another part is RF A68, is a uh, we call the bidirectional signal interface. This one used this kind of the lighting part. Okay, you press the button to turn on the light, but you want to know whether light is really turned on or no. So uh, many of uh, home automation custom uh, company they are using the A68. Or yes, in Asia we call that IoT, Internet of Things. They are using the Wi-Fi frequency, 2.4 gigahertz. Actually, 2.4 is uh, has many kind of the protocol, such as uh, G, GB and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Okay, uh, this is uh, the rough description of the wired and wireless, what's different analog and digital. Okay, part two is uh, how is analog and digital? Yeah, actually, many of the new generation, they only know the digital, they didn't know the analog. So I would like to explain a little bit what's difference, how difference also. Uh, technically, the easy example, for analog data transmission. Maybe you remember long, long time ago, they are using analog telephone. And if you call to other people, and then if someone the, connect the wire line, then they also can listen. Okay, so not secure communication system. Okay. So in case of analog data transmission, they don't have any complicated procedure. Just send the data and transmission and receiver. As a, the, the TV as before, as FM radio as before. If you have a receiver, anybody can receive the music or sound. Okay, a digital data transmission is a difference, is a coding. It's kind of a, it's a security reason by World War II. For example, German soldier, they use a special radio and a special character. And then they send the signals through the special character and the receiver has another book. And then to understand that special character, this is a coding. So in case of the digital data transmission, Sender also have the same coding way. Receiver also has the same decoding way. 
So to make a signal by coding, we call that codec. And then to release the signal by data, we call the decoding. Um, how to make an example for the digital transmission? Um, yeah, maybe the, you have experience, the experience for that before the, when you print something through the, your printer and then they come out unknown the character. This is a, it's kind of a simple digital data transmission. If a printer doesn't support the same codec as a computer, then they come out the unknown character. So digital signal key point is uh, coding before send the signal. Send and transmission receiving same procedure as analog, but the digital data before sending, they do the coding and receiving. For example, we are saying, I love you, but send this data through the digital, you have to coding some data signal 01 and 01 or blah blah and then you send this signal and the receiver also only received uh, 01 01 blah blah and they are used the decoder and they know this is uh, i love you okay go next page um the reason to change from analog to digital, of course, is not meaning absolutely change, just the percentage from analog and digital in communication become changed from analog to digital. Yes, still we receive the FM radio in the car, am I right? And why people prefer to analog to digital? This is the three major reasons. First, demand for security. Actually, analog system is for open system without any security concern, such as FM, AM radio. And then this demand starts from World War II for new demand for security. Actually, many kind of the new technology happen by the war and the military purpose. And they are uh, applied to the commercial field. Okay, uh, second is the demand for large data. Okay, in case of analog system need to send the The huge data, they need a lot of the big equipment, but this is not so efficiency. So many people thinking, are there any way to send the large data with the small equipment? Okay. So, Actually, the analog system problem is not only the equipment size. Equipment is more bigger and more huge, and then follows race of reliability problem according to the latest component. More big size need more component, and more component is followed another reliability problem. So they want to make it more simple and secure, but bigger data. So this is a real demand for large. For example, in the CCTV, okay, if you want to use the more high resolution analog CCTV, you need more the heavy the wired cables. Okay, and the long distance, yes, you need more secure. But in case of IP CCTV, just use a category five or six internet cable, that's all. Camera over five, five megapixel, seven megapixel is no matter with the cable capability. <laughs> and third is the demand for the long distance. Yes, everybody want to send the data very long distance, but how, this is a key point. Analog, 
need a lot of electricity to generate the, such a big equipment. But nowadays, uh, we have more demands than the data, but electricity always limited. So many people concerned about this talk. If you are using this talk, you can do the comprehensive the size, such as a G5, for example, you send a lot of documents to your friend, but you are doing, you are using the compression by zip file or some uh, specialized file. You can reduce the file size and then send to your friend, and then your friend open the uh, file and then can see all the data, am I right? Yeah, this is also kind of the coding procedure. Okay, uh, of course they have more demand, such as uh, why people need a digital. It's another, another is uh, mobility. Such a huge de device is hard to move to another place. But nowadays, many people carry on the mobile phone because of the digital technology. Okay. Um, if you have any question, please send an email to the, us, coco.li at pambil.com. Okay, Fatpo, what we can do with the SIP IP intercom system? Not only intercom, it's also telephone. Okay, let me explain to you the basic concept about SIP IP. Um, we are using the many kind of the special word which we didn't use before, okay, such as a protocol, TCP IP, SIP IP, H.323 protocol, or IPPBX. Yeah, someone can understand, someone doesn't understand. So we are explaining to you one by one. This protocol as the rule of the data to sending and receiving via network. Um, just now I'm explaining to you about what's different analog and digital. Yes, digital is uh, we are say coding, am I right? Yes, the coding is uh, need both parties agreement. Okay, I send the A, send the signal by zero one and the receiver receive the zero one, one and then this is the meaning of the character A, am I right? Both party agree, am I right? We are specialized, this kind of the promise called by protocol. For example, the what kind of protocol you are using? For example, I send some data to friend and then friend ask me what kind of protocol you are using because they know protocol to understand my data. So the sender and receiver has to use the same method to understand the message. Um, TCP IP, yes, it's the name of a protocol for data transmission via network. It's, it's the most popular protocol for network. Yes, actually TCP IP also has a demand by military in U USA. So they are used to develop this protocol. I want to explain more detail about TCPIP, but the today time is a little bit limited. If someone have a more have a more question about TCPIP, um, please send an email to me also. Okay, uh, TCPIP is very popular. Yeah, most most popular protocol in network. Okay. Um, but the uh, TCP IP protocol have some problem for VoIP, voice over IP. Yeah. Many old people talk by network, but the uh, TCP IP has some limitation. So, uh, end of the, around year 1999, yes, one association announced some special protocol for VoIP. And then it was H.3 
two, three protocol. But that protocol is very complicated to generate more market. So early of the year 2000, another group developed the SIPIP protocol to for voice and video. Okay, uh, actually TCPIP protocol is not enough to use VIP because it is only for the search data as a text, image, and video. So there are new demand for new protocol, especially for VIP. Yes. Um, H.323 earlier than the SIP, and then H.323 is failed to be standardized in the global standard. And now SIP IP is global standard for VOIP. Simple TCP IP for network, SIP IP, VOIP for network protocol. Okay, and uh, IPPBX. Uh, IPPBX, we are saying same as uh, analog telephone line. Before, many of the city, they have uh, analog signal uh, telephone line exchanger, am I right? If you want to call to someone and the exchanger connect to your telephone line by socket, am I right? IPPBX is kind of electric exchanger. You want to talk with someone like a telephone number and then the device transport the, the data to the number who has this number. For example, you want to call 001 and then this device know who is 001 telephone line and then this device is uh, exchange the telephone number to them. Okay, But why I'm describing IPPBX? Because of the many of the customer, just the thing as uh, analog. So because of the many of analog telephone in your desk, you just uh, dial to your friend and then your friend receive a phone call. But they don't know what is in the middle to exchange the number. So why I mis mis uh, describe this matter, many of the new customer in Palmville they want to promote the Pambi intercom system, but they didn't concern about IPPBX. That's why I described. If you want to do the SIP IP business, you must know about IPPBX. But nowadays, the uh, technology developed very fast, such as uh, in the before mobile phone, just a single core mobile phone now, octa core and more higher. So many engineers want to put more function in the PBX and the SIP phone. So now the PBX has another additional function such as broadcasting or recording or emergency alert. Uh, very simple performance as you know, in the airport, okay, boarding gate. <clears throat> Before final boarding, they uh, hang up the phone and they're looking for the passenger who didn't arrive the boarding gate, am I right? They are using the IPPBX. Okay, and then go next page. Actually, what we can do with the SIP IP, um, very simple. We can unify many kind of different system by one protocol. For example, before you have an MP3, the, tele the mobile phone and the video camera or digital camera, am I right? But now you only carry on the mobile phone because they are using same products, okay? so. Your mobile phone can make a photo, make a video, and also send to the, the SMS, and also browse the internet, 
And then now there is AI function. So just to speak something to your mobile phone, mobile phone understand MRI. Yes. If we are using same protocol, we can do many things. We can enlarge many business field. For example, parking barrier intercom system before we are using traditional analog intercom. So the the management office must be close with the, the parking barrier. Because of analog signal have a problem sending long distance signal MRI. Maybe you can remember my previous chapter speaking. Maybe you understand it. Okay. Second, uh, many of the analog telephone line exchange to the SIP IP telephone. So this telephone system also unify into the one SIP IP system. Maybe you can understand more clear by next page. For example, broadcasting also. Okay, um, if you are in a camping place, the uh, many kind of people use the traditional analog speaker, the some daily message or warning message through the broadcasting MRI. Yes, this is also unified. Okay, and one more is kind of a emergency alert. It's kind of fire alert, earthquake alert. You know, before this four system very independent system. You should buy the, the parking barrier system from another supplier, telephone from another supplier, broadcasting from another supplier. You should buy emergency alert from another supplier. So even maintenance also same problem. You should call four different suppliers to get the maintenance. Okay. Um, Yes, this is a for simple expression. You have a MP3 player, you have a mobile phone, you have an MP4 player, you have an internet, you have a messenger, such as MSN in a before, okay? Or authorized to mobile phone. Now we call smart, smart mobile phone, or smartphone, okay? And if you are using the SIP IP system, you're gonna have similar as a smart mobile phone, okay? Okay, so we are apply SIP IP phone and the intercom system. Before you have a door phone and the main gate, so you also have a telephone, also have a broadcasting. Also have a VIP through the such as a Skype, okay, and then also emergency bell. Okay. Now all in one by SIP, IP phone, and intercom. And Pambil is global reading company for SIP IP technology. Please remember this. Okay, I'm explaining to you about how unify the system based on the case. Okay, in apartment, access control, many of the apartment, main gate, they have access control or the security guy, they check who are you. You wanna visit which floor, which number like this. And parking lot management system. And then surveillance CCTV and broadcasting emergency alarm, very independent. But if you are applied SIP system, you can make a, for example, in access control, cannot call parking lot or cannot affordable for surveillance. But if you are using the SIP protocol, you can see, you can unify this kind of system. For example, your access control also call to the parking lot intercom or the, you listen the broadcasting system through the intercom, okay? This is very important, standardize. 
In the mobile phone, many kind of the perform the function can be authorized in the mobile phone because of their digital. Okay. Yeah, simple. In here is analog area. Here is the digital area and SIP, IP, intercom area. Yes, um, I'm explaining to you based on the real case in Korea. Okay. You know, before main gate, they have another intercom system such as uh, COMEX or COCOM. Playground, they have uh, some uh, broadcasting. And then apartment roof, they have a security door system. And the underground parking lot. Yeah, before they need a lot of the huge people and huge device and huge supply because every supply chain is different. But if you are using this kind of system as Korea, or well, for example, this person is a secret guy, but also can do the broadcasting to the playground or parking lot, also main gate. If someone come and then the person can get the call and reply to the person and also control open the door. Okay. One more thing, you know, before this guy stay in the same apartment. If you are using the SIPIP, this guy no need to same apartment. Even other city, other country, technically no problem. Okay. Before surveillance system also is another room, but if you are using SIP, you can see by SIP video phone through the network. So before this one is uh, only can first connect to this person, the single to single, but if you are using the SIP IP, this kind of the multi-system, this is a mobile LT radio. Yeah, for example, this guy, the move out, carry on this radio, and then the, he can get a signal from the main gate. And the, this mobile radio also can do the broadcasting to the playground or parking lot. Many things can do. So one person can carry on multi-job too. So parallel monitoring and the multi-to-multi -multi communication, this is the advantage of SIP, IP, intercom, based on the digital. So many of our Palm Beach customer, they want to authorize, they want to build the, this kind of a system. So please contact Palm Beach. Our sales team is a standby to consult how handle this kind of business in at your country. I'm sorry, I take a water for a while. Please uh, review our PPT for a while. Actually, this uh, photo is a real case in Korea. Center of the Seoul, around the 3,000 apartment. They uh, begin to adapt the SIP IP and then removing the traditional system. And then they propose first, the synchronize the system. Second, reduce the employee. Third, they won't have a more secure system. So they use the Palmville intercom and IP phone system. If you have a demand to know about this, please contact the Palm Beach marketing team. We can share more case with you in advance. Okay, um, anyway, whatever good technology or the high technology, customer have to have a reason to buy MRI. So I'm explaining to you 
What's the advantage of the unified system by SIPIP? <laughs> um, cost side, for example, the access control, like a traditional video phone or door phone, compared to SIP, IP intercom, yes, cheaper. Okay, but if integrate whole system in the apartment, SIP IP system overall cost much lower than analog system. Okay, for example, the why cheaper? You have a IP phone at home. The IP phone speaker also can be emergency alarm speaker, so you don't need to buy extra speaker every single house. Just put in the Palm bill, SIP, IP phone, then they can be, okay? For example, the main gate, the person call your home to open the door. If you are not at home, you can forward the call to the security guy or your mobile phone also. Yes, the previous analog system is not able to do. Key point, overall cost cheaper than analog system and have more additional function. Second, maintenance side. Analog is very difficult. For example, they don't have a promising protocol. For example, you have uh, some video phone over seven years. You want to change the receiver unit, but you have to change and send the unit together. Do you know why? Every manufacturer, they don't have own standard. So you always change everything by fair. Two units together, but SIP, IP, global standard protocol. So your phone is out of order, then you just exchange the new phone or repair phone, that's all, okay? And then the analog, you should call many different supplier. Okay, for example, speaker, you should call the speaker manufacturer. Door phone, you should call door phone manufacturer. SIP, you just call SIP supplier. They can provide total service to you. Third, extension. Um, you have a door phone. Yeah, you want, if you are not at home, you want to get a phone call to your mobile phone. Analog phone is able to do? No, not able, not, able. not able to do. But SIP IP can do. Why? Because of this term. For example, connect with the mobile device. Your the voice call or video call can be saved by DVR or voice recorder. So <clears throat> you don't need to concern about time. You don't need to concern about location. Okay. For, as I mentioned to you before, even if uh, upon management office, in case of analog concept, the management office must be in the apartment. But in SIP or digital, you don't need to care the location and time. Okay. And then the labor, actually, actually this is another cost. Before we have a many secret guy, and then the parking office, and then surveillance system, watch monitoring person. Yeah, like a previous one apartment need uh, 100 employee. But if you adapted SIPIP, I'm sure you can reduce a half and more secure and then more safe, okay. better cost, easy maintenance, easy extension, efficiency for the labor management. This is the major reason why many customers apply the SIP IP system for the apartment or building. Uh, 
Okay, so more detail, please send an email to the Panbiu. We can reply to you with your case. Okay, uh, I already spent 45 minutes for webinar. I didn't know, I don't know how useful your business, but we're gonna have a total of four webinars in advance. The schedule will be noticed to many customers by email, but the second webinar will be held 17th of September, year 2019, and third, 9th of October, year 2019, fourth, as the final, 24th October, year 2019. Uh, I'm a bit shy, my presentation is not enough, and then it's ugly, but please forgive my poor presentation. Later on, I will face you with the improve the presentation knowledge. Okay, thank you for your time today, and then I will get back to you 17 of October. September from Pambia Marketing Team, Jason Kim. Thanks for your time. Bye bye.